pests. <laughs> that gets me good. The party, having frightened, having successfully frightened away without any uh, undue bloodshed, um, the bandits who were posing as servants uh, in this ruined castle, and being left with the false duke, who was still convinced of his own vampirism and his uh, place here, the group began to discuss and investigate what they were going to do next, while Quinar went off on his own and unleashed uh, three of the concubines of the duke. They proceeded to give him quite a bit of information about how they were actually all quite safe, that the ladies were simply going to have fun with the party, as no one was allowed to kill without the duke's express permission, and he was not here at the moment, instead returning tomorrow night. Quinar's response was to go off and not tell the party, allowing them to think that they were still trapped in a life-and-death situation against the strange denizens of the castle. <laughs> Several tricks were played on the party. Uh, the women posed as uh, victims and managed to feed off of Bellini, as well as uh, start a pitched uh, conflict in the favor of the party, which sadly saw Miguel uh, become terribly injured. Swept up by one of the winged women and uh, <laughs> led to the rooftops for nefarious reasons, surely. <laughs> Miguel was saved by Tulio's uh, fast acting and intervention, only to leap off of a rooftop, presumably towards his death. In the meantime, Bellini and Quinar had decided to slip out uh, separately, exploring the upper echelons of the castle and releasing the retainer who had been guarding the castle when the bandits had managed to catch him by surprise, and offering to assist him in regaining the treasures of the castle. I'm not sure what <laughs> Duffs was doing during the more majority of this. Eating salted Snacking. fish in a corner. I think I was Cut eating and then curled up somewhere warm by the front door. Excellent. And ran into this lovely person? Yep, maybe? I'm a person. <laughs> that offered person. her fish? Yes. That's what happened. Is that where you prefer to come in? Because I did have another plan, but that's acceptable also. We that, can go I mean, with that, whatever. That, that works. Either work. Okay. <laughs> We're just kind of wandering around this giant house, but like only the spots we've house. been in. <laughs> just for safety's sake. Like, hey, check out this hallway that we already saw. There's nothing here. So, Duffs, who had uh, become uh, somewhat ill thanks to a combination of all the food eaten off the table and mm. a strong amount of salt from all of the salted fish, had proceeded to curl up by the front door, uh, falling asleep near a uh, quietly burning fire, and had awoke refreshed and uh, ready to find out what had happened to the rest of the the party. I was about to give it a gender, but I don't know what gender Dups is. So, Dups is a cat. We begin on the upper floor of the Duke's castle. The gate has been opened, picked, uh, through a combination of skill and just sheer tenacity, <laughs> allowing the aged retrainer Crow to have stepped out and had a brief dialogue. Uh, upon learning what had happened to the uh, trappings of the castle, he had declared that someone should bring him a carriage, for you three would be going after the bandits. Quinar. Um, I don't think we can leave. The hunched figure uh, peers down at you, um, as if you've uh, knocked him out of his own revelry of how he was going to save the day. We made it all the way up here, and you don't want to leave? Uh, yes, no, no, we castle. Enlighten me as to why you cannot leave this place. Well, we haven't finished exploring yet. Mm. You're lying. Does he do this often? I don't know. He's all quiet and sneaky. Uh, I don't know. Fetch me a carriage. Where would you get such a thing? How did you get in this castle? Uh, a trap. 
in the woods. Yes, but then you came in through the front doors, yes? Where the stables and the outer ward are, where the carriages and the horses are kept? Everything's gone. <laughs> oh. Um, you have two actions. Two actions? <laughs> what am I going to do with two what actions? Gonna do, do, I'm going to look around the, the place he was in, like in that... In, Perceive around there, see what's in there, if I can find anything about him. Oh, 20, so 30, 30. Peering in, and um, uh, Croak doesn't seem particularly bothered by you taking a look, you see that this room has indeed not been pilfered, and uh, it gives you a sense of how uh, well-to-do the castle was prior to these bandits showing up. Everything is um, overwrought and ornate, but there's a sort of a, a style to it, uh, a sense that if everything is going to be overdone, you at least might as well go all the way. Um, it's quite a well-kept place, actually. If anything, the, uh, the only flaw with it is that the bed seems, uh, for the most part, unused. <laughs> um, I, then I go out and ask him, I said, did your master lock you up, or did the bandit guys? No, you insufferable fool. As I told you, the bandits had come in. Hey. <laughs> yes. I apologize. Yes, the um, interlopers had caught me unawares and uh, locked me up inside my master's room. The, uh, the trappings on the door are to protect him from... Uh, those who would uh, take ill will to his uh, nighttime proclivities. Alas, it made for an excellent trap. Hmm. Do you choose, choose to do anything? Um, the creature still appears convinced that you guys are going to help him recover the artifacts of the castle. I mean, I'm, I'm down to help. I mean, we're here anyways, but for some reason somebody thinks we need to explore more. And I can't help you alone. I'm too tiny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fascinating, then, how you've managed to survive this far. How does Mushroom feel about this? This Doesn't like him. <laughs> Smells right. wrong. He'd be growling more if the thing wasn't so tall and ominous and staring then, down at him. Then I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take Mushroom's advice and just be like, yeah, sweet. Cool! And take a couple steps back. <laughs> a wise choice. Yes, fetch me some sort of mode of travel then, and we will proceed. I will not walk through the streets. We'll see what we can do for you, buddy. Excellent. I will wait here until you return. Sweet. Don't go exploring the castle. It appears to have awakened. Well, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> I can confirm. It will only get more dangerous as the day progresses. Good to know. Is it daytime? No, but soon the sun will rise. Does it get worse up in the daytime? Oh, but of course. Oh, nice. It protects my master while he sleeps. Hmm. Tulio! Oh, fuck! <laughs> I have to go get Miguel. <laughs> I'm gonna fly down. All right, make a perception check as you wing swiftly uh, down the sides of the castle. How does an 18 sound? He has fallen too quickly out of your vision. Your uh, sight only goes so far. 60 feet. Um, well, then I will attempt to fly down quicker with a fly check, but also understand that if he falls to his death, <laughs> there's nothing I can do. 23 with my fly. To try to go faster, like a bird. You know? Bird. Yeah. Fall. Yeah, but like... Precisely. I believe the term is dive. <laughs> and you do. You dive towards the water. Uh, it comes rushing up suddenly in your vision with only just enough time for you to pull yourself uh, up, your wings straining against the uh, force of your uh, drop. You believe you see where the water... <laughs> you did it okay? Did you you my in a row. Sorry. Oh you my... <laughs> Ow, I heard it. I pulled a muscle. It's fine, I just had to... Daisy is dead. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, it was fun. Before she ever got to play. Daisy made everybody have a shitty player. <laughs> the rain, uh, uh, the heavy storm clouds, and the uh, violence of the water as the storm uh, moves the surface of the ocean um, all make it difficult to tell where Miguel must have fallen in. Well, um, I can swim like a beast because I literally am a part of the ocean. So I'll just dive right in. <laughs> 
Yeah. yeah. I swim faster than I walk. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Then you return to the water like it's a second home to you. Yeah. Um, here in the depths, you can indeed see uh, Miguel's <clears throat> body uh, twisting gently in the currents and the shape of the underside of a boat approaching. Like uh, faintly, a light begins to crest over the top of the water. Sick. Daisy, you have arrived by the only safe route. After all, a creature like this, if he is what you think he is, if it is what you think it is, would surely have protected itself from all manner of uh, attack or inconvenience. But they have a curious weakness. They like to build their homes on the edges of tall, austere um, mountains, or backed against deep oceans. And there's very little someone can do to protect against a small boat or a craft hired by a local guide. You are coming across uh, towards the castle in the water now, and through the darkness, you can see it looming there, uh, lightning flashing around its topmost spires. Mm. Something the size of a man falls, and with a brief, ah! hits the water violently <laughs> with a crack, <laughs> and then goes deep, sinking down. <laughs> Something dark, pursuing it, strikes the water like a bird, or perhaps a fish jumped too high and disappears. This is what I just saw? This is what you just saw. <laughs> Your guide looks to you and says, did you just see that? Okay, <laughs> can I run over to that? In the water? Can you oh, I'm in the water? water! I thought I was on land You're and I was looking. Oh, I'm in a boat! Yes! Oh, oh, sick! <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do some movement to get there then. Okay, do a um, profession sailor check. Oh, the guide will also oh, do that. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, good oh, roll. Oh, yeah, Shoot. Wow. So, you yeah, just your wisdom, you just do an unchecked profession. Oh, I, I guess if you didn't give yourself a job. If you want to be a sailor, you can give yourself that job now. I'm not a sailor. Sure, There's so no way. then just add your wisdom. Okay, so... Oh, 18. <clears throat> um, with the assistance of your uh, guide, you two man the opposite oars of the uh, rowboat and make your way quickly towards the fallen figure. Against all odds, the current appears to be pulling him up and uh, dragging him along the surface so that his head and shoulder bobs up above it. The man is unconscious, probably dead from a fall like that. But whatever was pursuing him is probably here to make certain. The boat comes up alongside uh, <laughs> a wildly dressed uh, man. I'm, I'm gonna poke it. <laughs> uh, the body slips slightly under the water and proceeds to start going past the boat. Okay, can I try and save the body? Yes! <laughs> okay, where is the thing that flew after it? You don't know, it's somewhere in the water. Somewhere in the water too? Creepy! Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna swim after the, the body. Okay. Are you actually gonna do a swim check or just try and pull it into the boat? Uh, can I just try and pull her in? Sure, make a strength check. Mm. Four, and would that be five? Yeah. So nine. You managed to get a hold of the boat. <clears throat> Not bad. Uh, the hold of the <laughs> you managed to get a hold of the man, but this is only a rowboat, and suddenly standing in it was probably not the best choice. It begins to <laughs> rock precariously, and the man goes, "Whoa, whoa! But that thing! Don't go in!" Uh, okay, I'm gonna throw the body back in the water. Can I dive I'm after? afraid you're out of actions. Dumps. <clears throat> you awaken in a nice, warm place. <laughs> Refreshed and feeling good, you're um you're in this little uh, area where a small uh, campfire had been left uh, burning away and feeding it a couple of extra logs. You were able to curl up and just wait out the storm. Unfortunately, it looks like two hours have passed, and the storm is, if anything, only worse. That sucks. <clears throat> well, I'm going to uh, stretch it out, eat some fish. Uh, cause you know. I immediately go back to sleep. I was, <laughs> I got sick before and now I'm hungry, so I'm eating more fish. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm going to look around. Where did everybody go? Guys? H hey! Where'd you, where'd you go? Make a perception check. Oh, sorry. My computer died. I can't play 
find anything. <laughs> With Perception? those gloves? No, probably not. Yes. Yay, we did it together. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, 25. Something is moving around out in the yard. Um, it hadn't been moving before, but when you called out, it began to uh, come closer to one of the uh, darkened windows here. What could go wrong? I'm gonna go towards that thing. <laughs> the window or just outside? The window. Just be like, what's that? Are you are you outside? Uh, a dark beast, a, a mare perhaps? Uh, certainly not a stallion in, sort, in terms of build. Looks like it is uh, limping gently towards you. Um, it appears to have come from the outside and is uh, uh, sniffing around, its nostrils flaring. You do the macarena. All I have is fish. Uh, I'm just gonna like at it because I don't know what else to do. The thing turns to look at you, and as it catches the light from the small fire you have in the room, you see that most of its face has been torn away. You recognize it. This was one of the horses that uh, had gone out with the carriage of um, bandits. There's something wrong with the eyes, too. They swim. It gives a soft whinny and starts uh, limping towards you. Is it clearly in pain? Yes. There's a wild, pained look to its eyes. It's totally, like, possessed by, like, demon horse. <laughs> Is it? Can I, can I, uh, I want to know, like, if he's evil or not. <laughs> Words. I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to say. I want to perceive what his alignment is, what his, like... Uh, I would accept a knowledge religion. Thank you. Happen. Words. I don't. I don't have it. But knowledge I, nature? I don't have any knowledge. I'm, I'm <laughs> ducks. I have, Sense I have motive. knowledge local. <laughs> Or sense motive, let's do that. Fifteen. Uh, it appears to be uh, chomping at the mostly damaged bit in its mouth as it sees you and smacking its long horse lips together. Um, it looks hungry and not altogether friendly. I'm gonna like, look around, see if there's anything around that I could like try and feed it and grab like a piece of wood. Because yep. I don't know what horses eat. It sticks its head in the window <sighs> and screams. Miguel! <laughs> it screams. <laughs> you are at what? one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> I need an eraser. Somebody got an eraser. How about the yeah. other end of this? Oh, yeah, man. I have 69 damage. All right. Something is grabbing at you in the water. You're not sure, but you can, uh, even as you come to, your body stops floating lifelessly and you uh, begin to fight against the current. Uh, there's a light, you're pretty sure, but your eyes are bleary and there's a ringing in your ears as if you've struck something with a great force or been struck. Mm. Uh, uh, I'm going to do a climb check to see if I can... Climb, climb the person? Yeah. Acrobatics. <laughs> Acrobatics, okay. I'm 17 sound. I'll accept a fortitude save from you. Oh, oh, oh. Do I go by the... Yep. That's so... 20. As the person suddenly comes to and in a panic scrabble tries to climb you into the boat <laughs> as if you were a ladder, you're able to hold your footing and stop the boat from tilting over. Yes! Sick. You land in the uh, rowboat, clearly built for two, now holding mm. three. <laughs> the water beginning to slosh dangerously close to the edge, and the, uh, the uh, small guidesman, an older fellow dressed in uh, a fisherman's trapping, uh, oiled leathers meant, meant to keep up the rain, uh, starts grabbing the other side of the boat frantically and trying to push it down with weight. <laughs> <laughs> He's drowning. Good evening. <clears throat> Why were you in the water? You're going for a midnight swim. Doesn't look like it. Well, <laughs> uh, it's a form I've been working on. The cliff is several hundred feet up and looks like it comes to an end along most of the base in jagged, broken rocks. Hey, by chance, you didn't see, like, a spine-winged <laughs> lady following me, did you? I saw something dart into the water after you. 
but I don't know what it was. It was dark. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a lot of help. I'm Miguel. Daisy. Daisy. Yes. Uh, that's a, here to hunt. Is it's what? gross. It's Damn very gross. Wait, well, I just came out of the river. What do you? <laughs> it's impolite. He's it's impolite. gesturing at the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> the ocean. <laughs> the ocean. Yeah, the river that leads to the ocean. Guide, anything to say to us? I think I saw something in the water. Yeah, like a it's... fish or something. It's the ocean. Do we need to have worry about it? What could it be? I don't know what I've gotten myself into here. I've been sent to hunt things. Is this something I'm hunting in the water? Do I need to go after it? I will. I'm just a guide. <laughs> I'm going to do a perception <laughs> check to see what's in the water. Um, maybe I won't instead. <laughs> perception. Oh, no. Uh, 13. A dark shadow, um... Uh, darker than the water moves uh, just below the surface, its wings outstretched, gliding, um, its whole body a long, swirling thing behind it. I recognize that, though. No, you don't. I don't? No. Are you sure? Do you have dark vision? But, like, <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> um, Back to Quinar and Bellini. Hey! So, the retainer has stalked back into the room. And is uh, fussily arranging things as if he's trying to uh, figure out the best way to make the worst of a bad situation. Maybe, maybe if he cleans all the silver, maybe that'll be enough. The creature is panicking quietly. So we're looking for a coach for this guy? Or are we just gonna walk away? Uh, I'm just gonna walk away. You Probably, us up I assume here. you're not discussing this loudly right behind the creature who <laughs> just ordered you to go get in my carriage. No. I'll walk down the hallway. And uh, uh Yeah, well we're a either way, we're leaving the room. Okay. So you head away from the solar and back down the hallway. There are three windows that allow uh, a look over um into the dark stormy night and the dark stormy water. We, we don't know that anybody fell off the roof, right? You did briefly see something winging by. Oh, but it could have just been the winged creatures. I don't know. It was like going, ah! <laughs> I believe you also witnessed that. Yeah. Well, no, you heard it. You didn't see it because at that point you were speaking with the retainer. Mm. So, yes. Uh, the place is certainly coming to life. It's almost like watching um, someone awaken from a deep sleep or a corpse suddenly infused with blood. The tapestries seem to hang a little bit thicker. The carpet is a little bit coarser, a little bit stronger, less ragged in places. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna look out the windows because we did see somebody. I'll do a perception check out the window and see if there's anything. It's not lighter out though yet. I can see. Do 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 do. That is a thirty-two. Three figures with bat-like wings are slithering around the rooftop. It looks like they are dragging uh, legs and hips behind them, dragging them up along the side of the tiling and into one of the other windows. Not these on this floor. bitches no, again! they haven't noticed you. <sighs> no, but like in another room on this, on this floor? In this level? building, but not on this floor. It's a roof down. Oh, it's a roof down. Right. So on the, it would be like... It would be one floor like down. Like here? Or... Probably oh, somewhere yeah, yeah, yeah. in this area. Hmm. Son of a bitch. May I? By all means. Oh, Are you going to take any actions, Quinar? Um, yeah, I'll, uh... I'll start wandering back down. I'll follow until... You head back towards the room with all the suits of armor? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, we crossed through that, we'll get here, didn't oh, we? God damn, we can do the same thing? Just run? Just run? It worked the first time. I, mean, I don't think they were... I'm gonna run! You walk slowly and we'll see how that goes for you. Yeah? I'm gonna run. <laughs> As you head towards the door, you see that the suits of armor have moved. There's no clear path through them now, but they've realigned themselves, pausing as if in mid-action. God damn it. So you have to, like, weave around them to get through? Would you like an acrobatics check while I run? 
Certainly. <laughs> Try to spaghetti your way through the suits of armor. Let's see how this works. Works out well. You nail it. The suits do nothing else other than impede motion. And uh, you, being tiny and able to fit in between the uh, gaps of their legs or over a hand, errantly dropped as if to pick up the pike lying on the floor, are unfazed by it. I'm going to get to the other side of the room and I'm going to give Quinar one of these. <laughs> so there's no, there's no like, clear pass for me. Like, they're pretty impeding the, the path through. Yes. They are literally a tableau of motion. So if I just walked normally through, they I wouldn't be able to get through? I'd have to... Climb. You would have to weave through them. But I'm, just, yeah. oh, I'm just going to walk casually through. Okay. Hmm. You get Make a perception check as you do. I'm just expecting these are going to be like those zombies. Uh, 25. 25. Um, <laughs> something in the room... Uh, moves. When you stop perceiving it, it stops moving as well. More of the armor? Or it didn't did it... sound like armor. Oh. Armor would have squeaked or shifted or had a heavy tread, hopefully. This was light and soft. Like a it seemed to be a shoeless feet. Following me? It or moved it's... when you moved and stopped when you stopped. And I didn't perceive it when she was moving? No. She did run across the room, though. To Leo, you are under the water. The light uh, gets brighter and uh, begins to uh, move towards you, stopping briefly and shifting, dancing over the surface. Do I see Miguel get dragged up by it? The body gets pulled up out of the water. Sick. I will rise out of the water. <laughs> Please make a free intimidate check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 23. <laughs> What are your guys' levels? Uh, seven. And wisdom? Oh, um, 14? 10. <laughs> you guys shit yourself. <laughs> From up out of the water, made of a deeper water itself, the type of water sailors will often talk about quietly in the night, where things are dredged out sometimes, strange things with all angles and teeth or uh, bony eyes that catch the luminous light of the moon. A being erupts, wings like a bat, but body entirely formed of some sort of dark liquid. One red eye shifting and squirming inside of its chest. <coughs> After a moment, you recognize it. <laughs> Tulio! <laughs> Miguel! Says the monstrosity, hovering above the water. <laughs> What's your second action? Um, I'm gonna fly down to Miguel, and I'm gonna cure some wounds on him. <laughs> Just poke him, kill him. Uh, ten wounds healed. Ten wounds! Like ten an wounds. angel of the deep, the thing comes over, gently moving its wings to hover just above the edge of the boat, and with one finger, heal some of the harm done to your, uh, new friend Miguel. <laughs> Remember when you decided not to take a ring of feather for? <laughs> <laughs> who is... who is this? This is Daisy and Guide. <laughs> the Guide is gone. You see his body retreating in the distance over the water. <laughs> the man is doing a uh, front stroke like it's no tomorrow. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna go fly after and grab him. <laughs> the water and bring him back to the boat. <laughs> Make a uh, uh, CMV. 18. He just goes faster. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's his... I tried, it's his funeral. I'll fly back to the boat for my last action. <laughs> Technically that would be too many actions, so what you see is the dark figure to pirouette in the air gracefully and go after the man who looks back once and just starts swimming like a dolphin. <laughs> Are you guys friends? Of course. Okay. Daisy, it's your turn. The boat rocks, uh, gently. So, this is fine. This is good. You know this person. Yeah. Okay. Why? What's, what's not fine about nothing, it? Nothing. Just, just nothing. Do you know how useful it is to have a friend that flies? I believe it. Yeah. I'm just making sure. So what do you do? What do you, what do you, what do you, why are you... I, are you a vampire by chance? Not a vampire. Nope. 100% not. 
A hundred percent not? hundred percent not. Prove it. How do you prove that you're not a vampire? We wait for sunrise. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, sure we, can, we can wait. Just standing fly. like this for the next <laughs> two hours. Two hours time pass. Anybody, um. anybody have a mirror? Oh, a mirror might be helpful. Yeah. A mirror, yeah. Um, where is our boat right now? It is currently drifting off course towards the rocks at the base of the of the summit. Okay. Where were you before this? Before you were found in the water, almost drowning. Oh, um, we were in that castle. Okay, and that's where you were. Uh, I'm far big. away from you guys right oh, now. Oh, you're not even near us? No. Yeah, you're drifting oh, you're further flying away again, from right. as time goes. Um, do you want to go back to the castle? What do you... I mean, not particularly, but uh, we have to stay three nights. It's like a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want to go there. Why? It's scary. Did you see the thunder? It's <laughs> ominous. Yeah, you're probably Trick right. Question. You can't see thunder. It's lightning. Yep. Fact. I still want to go there. I've been sent to go in this area, so. You've been sent by who? My watcher. Your... I have a watcher. Your watcher. Your name um... is Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Questions? Uh, so many. <laughs> but... I don't know. I just... Um, yeah, let's... Do you know how to get up there from down here? Why would you come in right here as opposed to the front? Well, I don't know. This is where I came in from. The guide took me to the this, and then I saw you in the water. Oh, well, and I thought you, you were some you sort for of... saving me. No problem. Yeah, you thought I was what? A creature of some mm -hmm. kind. But a handsome one. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Not even a little bit. Nope. Are, are you going to take any other actions other than discussing it? Um... I'm good for now. I'm gonna figure out. Uh, I mean, I could go closer to the cliff. Can I row closer? Excellent choice. Please make a profession sailor check alone. Um, eighteen. You take control of the boat and manage to steer it in between the most dangerous of the rocks, just in time. Perfect. Good job. And we'll pause Perfect. here for YouTube.